found a sickness and it brought me to my knees. Well, I went to the police station to feel safe from thieves, but it was packed full of criminals. They stole everything from me. But I yeah, went musician to Jake Clemens on the guitar there. He's obviously a multi-talented guy. Jake joining us here on the show because you're going to be performing at Montreal's International Jazz Festival. Welcome to the show. Great to have you here. Thanks very much. Happy to be here. It's, uh, you know, we were talking about early mornings, how much musicians love coming here early mornings, but you didn't have a show last night, so you're, yeah. uh, you're, you're doing all right. Hey, uh, obviously, you know, most people know you as, of course, uh, the nephew of legendary saxophonist uh, Clarence Clemens, the E Street Band. Uh, let, let's talk, I want to start with that. Like, sure. talk about your relationship with with Clarence and and just how you know that relationship progressed in your in your love of music. Oh man, uh, well yeah. he was my uncle, but he was a uh, I don't know we were really really close. So, yeah, um, he was like a father figure in a lot of ways and uh, like a brother and uh, someone I looked up to a lot, obviously. And uh, I picked up my saxophone because of him the first time. And um, I don't know, we had a, a really really close relationship. Uh, and uh, he passed away in 2011. Yeah, and uh, it was a really difficult time, and uh, I was able to help facilitate the role that he had formerly uh, been in for a long time, and uh, and somehow get closer to him through that. Actually, yeah, and I think you've you've talked about that in interviews before that when you perform, you you, you feel like he's still there with you, don't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Uh, and then of course, you know, uh, being able to play with Bruce Springsteen in the E Street Band, uh, tell us how, how that came to be. Because I think it was Bruce that invited you, right? Yeah, um, you know, Clarence passed away, and it was a it was a difficult time for everybody. You know, Bruce and I had both lost a cornerstone, um, and uh, yeah, and it's, in, in dealing with that, we spent a lot of time together, and eventually the conversation came up, and and uh, you know, we stepped stepped forward uh, somewhat cautiously, I'd say probably. Yeah. You know? And, uh, you know, but the natural thing happened, and, um, yeah, I was able to uh, pick up Clarence's horn and, and uh, carry on his voice on that stage for uh, the last seven years. Yeah, and I imagine you have a, and probably have a lot of his horns still, don't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, I was fortunate, you know, to have him uh, uh, kind of rooting for me from an early age. So yeah. uh, I remember, you know, I told him that I wanted to play saxophone, and he said, well, if you, uh, if you keep up, you know, playing, then I'll uh, I'll send you one, and so I would always get his his retired <laughs> horns, you know, the, the yeah. ones that fell off the stage at some point, or <laughs> a few dents and scratches. Yeah. In they there. looked really cool. They didn't play super great. Uh, yeah, but um, you know, yeah, it's been a great thing to be able to inherit, um, you know, throughout my life, and and uh, and to carry on now, you know. Yeah, well, let's talk about now because you know you've got your own band, the Jake Clemens Band. Tell us a little bit about you know that decision and 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 how that uh, has progressed as well for you. Yeah, uh, well, I don't know. I've I've always been a songwriter, um, and I started you know fronting my own band um, in 2010, and uh, that kind of you know quickly took off to a small degree, um, and uh, and gradually built up from there, and, and I found myself on on tour in Europe and. And across the U.S. and uh, and as I was growing and developing that, uh, you know, this transition happened as well. Yeah. So uh, yeah, but it, you know, it's it's been an exciting journey to be able to, you know, study uh, like directly under like you know Bruce, this legend, no uh, the, 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 <laughs> the greatest of the live show, um, and uh, you know, there's, so it's it's kind of like a two part thing for me to be able to carry on, um, you know, Clarence's voice in that role, but also to be able to. You know, learn this craft to uh, you know as excellent as it can be, um, and then carry it over to to what I do. You know, uh, yeah. Tell it, us a little bit more about what you do, Jay, because you know, obviously, uh, for pe people that aren't familiar with your music, maybe yeah. you could sort of describe uh, your your music to people. Uh, it's rock and roll. I mean, yeah. well, rock and soul, I guess, is a, is maybe a safer way to put it. It's uh, and I grew up in a really strict household, so I wasn't allowed to listen to. Anything but like gospel music and like uh, marching band music and classical really, music. Eh? Yeah. So when I finally branched out, I I opened up to kind of everything, um, and my writing I don't know kind of covers the gambit. Uh, so what does your family think now that you know they they see that you've expanded and that you're you're yeah. playing rock and roll? Uh, I guess they're fine with it. You know, <laughs> <laughs> at one point you know you become a you become your own person. To, yeah, yeah exactly. you know, to do your own thing. Uh, yeah, but you know, like, it, it's a rock and roll show. Um, I, I love the connectedness in a room and, uh, and and building something out of a common understanding, you know, yeah. of, of who we are as as people, and and uh, you know, carrying that through the night into something that's uh, 
you know, hopefully something you can take home with you and and feel uh, beyond the show. Before we run out of time, I want to mention you, know, you have a place here in Montreal. What, what, what do you love about this city of Montreal? Oh man, Montreal's amazing. Uh, I'm still discovering so many facets of it, but uh, I love how there's so many different elements of, of the city um, that are, are common in other places, but here they're, they're very, very unique. I don't know. Yeah. It's, uh, I don't know. I'm thinking about like back to like the 1701 gathering, right? Where uh, I've been doing my history recently. <laughs> uh, you know, where like all these di different nations get together, um, you know, First Nations and, um, and the French and the English and, the, and, and gather in this location, you know, here in Montreal. Yeah. And uh, I, don't, I, I just love the culture that's here and, and how that dates back to 1701, you know, in a lot of ways. Um, well, we're, we're happy to have you here in Montreal and uh, happy to mention that you can catch Jake Clemens and the, the entire band this Friday, that is June the 29th, at Club Soda. Make sure you get your tickets. It is sure to sell out. Jake, thanks so much for joining us. That's really appreciate absolute it. Absolute pleasure. Thank you. All right, don't go anywhere. We've got lots more coming up right here on BT, including your headline news and your weather and traffic right after the break.